Hello everybody! It's Apple here again. Today I'm going to be doing a how to draw hair tutorial. I've gotten a few different requests to do tutorials so I decided to start off with this one because a lot of people ask me where to start when drawing hair or coming up with hairstyles. So I'm going to show you guys six different hairstyles that I think are cute and fun and I hope you guys can learn some good tips. So let's get started. So. For the first hairstyle that I'm going to be drawing, I'm going to show you how to draw short hair. So when I start drawing hair, I usually start with a bang somewhere in the center as you can see me doing here. And I kind of just make random swoopy curvy lines. I don't usually um, care if they're even or not because as I'm going I fix them and I add more detail. So. For this specific one, I decided to make them pretty straight across, but still a little bit jagged. So in doing this one, I, or in doing any hair that I normally draw, I usually make it up as a go, unless I'm drawing a specific character and have an idea of what I want to be doing. So uh, as I'm doing the bangs, sometimes at the top of them, I will draw like a line around the top or sometimes I'll leave it completely open. Um, here what I'm doing is I'm adding some longer hair on the sides coming down from the bangs and this kind of separates the bangs from the rest of the hair. So as you can see I'm bringing the line a little um, higher on the side there and I'm doing the same thing on the other side and usually before I draw the other side I will um, kind of place where I want the face to be that way I don't draw over it unless that's what I'm going for in this specific hairstyle I'm not going for that so in terms of short hair you can do it a variety of ways this one I chose to go with a more straight look rather than um, you know curly flowy short hair or something like that so there's a lot of different uh, ways you could take this in terms of the back of the hair, uh, for this I decided to give a little bit of a curve and then um, an angle straight down. And uh, when I say straight down, I don't mean literally one straight line because as you can see I uh, did some jagged lines at the bottom of the hair to show off the different strands and pieces. Because I think that's one thing that's pretty important when you're doing hair is you don't want it to look too simplified. Unless that's your style and that's what you're going for. Um, but if you want hair to look a little bit more detailed, it's important to add some extra lines and uh, lengths and things like that to try to make it a little bit more dynamic and interesting to look at. Uh, of course, the coloring also helps a lot in how the hair will look. But if you're just sketching it like I am here, adding a lot of extra details and things like that can really help you out in having um, hair that looks different and dynamic and fun. So just to close it off in the back, I, uh, I usually do just some lines to show that the hair goes up a little higher in the back. Um, and then I was just drawing out the shoulders and face shape and everything like that. But yeah, that's how I do this type of short hairstyle. So the next style that I chose to go with is kind of a curly, flowy look. Now this, I would say, is not my uh, strong point. I'm, I was never too good at drawing curly hair. Um, so in terms of this one, I want to go with something a little more loose and flowy and wavy. So I started off by doing some random bangs, and you can argue that curly hair doesn't have straight bangs. Um, but like I said, for this look, I'm doing more of a wavy, looser look. Um, so it didn't, doesn't really matter to me if it's not completely perfect. I'm also not good at doing bangs for completely curly hair, but since it's not, it's it's much different than how I drew it here. But um, so in terms of what I'm doing here, I usually like to do um, a long strand down from the top again, separating the bangs from the rest of the hair. This piece I like to put in front of the body, since um, I don't want it to look like everything is all behind her. I want some of it to come up in the front. That way it looks a little more realistic. 
So in terms of drawing these curls, I just kind of wave it back and forth and close it off with little uh, curved lines to make it look like it's spiraling around itself. And at the bottom, I draw these little um, curly wavy parts that I draw lines again into that make it look like as if they're little spiral curls. Again, this is super um, messy and it's not supposed to look perfect, like perfect little ringlet curls. If this was that kind of hairstyle, I would be much cleaner with it. So it didn't really matter to me for this one if uh, it was super, super perfect since I wanted, like I said, I wanted it to look a little messy and a little uh, loose. So <clears throat> I went back into the bangs and added some more detail. So just a few lines and things like that. Um, and then I came back to the side and started drawing out the hair that would be behind her. I usually do this little curved shape here to show that the hair isn't all uh, just, you know, one piece. It's a bunch of strands that are flowing on top of each other. So in doing that little piece there, it kind of shows it's like opened up in that part, if that makes sense. It's hard to explain. Um, and again, I, I draw in where the neck and body are going to be at this point so that I can see where exactly I want to place the hair. And I just made a bunch of cur curvy, wavy lines behind her to signify that the hair is in multiple strands and flowing in different directions. Because for this type of hairstyle, it's important not to make everything too straight or too one, you know, like not having enough detail. If it doesn't have enough detail, it's going to look a little bit um, plain and it's not going to get the point across that you want it, you wanted it to look like wavy hair. Um, so I made a little bit of a mistake here, actually I'm going to go back and erase it in a second. Um, I curved it in a bit too much toward her face, so it's just a minor fix. Um, in terms of the top of the head, I usually just try to, it's different every time. In terms of this one, I'm just going up with the lines and meeting them at the center where I think the part would be. and. I made the part kind of like a center part since she's turned a little bit to the side and it's not a straight on view of her um, the part is also a little bit to the side so it's not going to be completely um, symmetrical for this specific drawing so yeah here i'm erasing the side that i thought was a little too uh, curved inward and just adding another one of those points where it opens up a bit and you can see that it's multiple strands of hair. And then all the way at the bottom, I mean it depends on how long you made this. I tried to make it a little shorter just so I could show the majority of the hair in this. But um, yeah, you can make it whatever length you want and this can be adjusted however you like. So the third hairstyle I'm going to show you how to draw is a straighter look. Again, I'm going to make this about mid-length hair instead of being super long since I can only fit about that much in this little portrait drawing for you guys. But you, again, you can adjust the length. So for the bangs, I'm making them a little bit different. Instead of making them completely random, I want them to be straighter across, but it's not just one straight line all the way across. As you can see, I do multiple little um, jagged lines, but I keep each one having a straight bottom. That way it signifies that she's got straight cut across bangs but they're still a little bit messy because it looks better if you make it a little messy rather than making it all one chunk of hair. So again doing the thing that I normally do when I draw hair is separating it from the bangs. Again this one's a little straighter for this um, and I think I go back later and make it a bit thicker. I think I made it too thin here. but. Um, for this one I wanted to draw in, in her ear and show it a little bit since um, I wanted to signify that she's got some of her hair tucked behind her ears and a little bit in front. So you can do this multiple ways, you don't have to show that. I'm leaving um, her two strands, so I'm, I'm coming in with on the other side and making the other strand of hair. Um, I liked the way that I actually shaped this one. Um, oh, I'll get there in a second. This is, I'm just closing off the bangs for this one. Yes, yeah, sometimes I close off the bangs at the top and sometimes I just make her hair flow all around her as I did in the wavy hair. So um, 
Right, I come back and I erase here so that I can make it a little thicker to match the other side. These two pieces don't need to be completely symmetrical because nobody's hair is completely symmetrical. You can think about it that way. Some people struggle a lot trying to make everything even in a drawing, whether it be the eyes or the hair, but having everything be completely symmetrical all the time isn't always feasible. And sometimes it looks better if it's not, depending on what you're drawing. So for the back of the hair, it's not too detailed, mostly just a lot of lines that are a little straighter to signify that there's a lot of different strands of hair. And then on the bottom, it's closed off uh, straight. So then back for the bangs, I just came back and made them a little, I guess, more prominent in the hair. So I didn't mix them with the rest of the hair. They've got their own little fringe area there. And then I close off the head, So, the, um, and then I just add some lines in. So that's how you do straight hair. It's not. It's a little more simplistic than other types of hair, um, but you can still have fun with it, making it random, and making a bunch of lines and details inside of it. This next hairstyle that I chose to show you guys is a little bit more involved, but I chose it because it's one of my favorite styles to draw, and I think that everybody could uh, do something fun with this hairstyle. So for the bangs, again, it, it's always different. The bangs don't have to look like this for this hairstyle. I just made them random. Um, so after I finish doing the bangs here, I start making little, you know, curvy uh, strands of hair on the sides to frame her face. Um, and then I end up drawing the face in. That way, because for this one, it's important to know exactly where the face is and uh, where the rest of the body will be so that I don't end up drawing um, too out of proportion. It's also important when sketching hair not to push down with your pencil too hard because oftentimes you will end up erasing and fixing and editing it. That's something I should have mentioned in the beginning. For this one, uh, for this tutorial, I am pushing down just Averagely, I'm not really sketching too much since I kind of know what I want to be doing. Right, so I'm going to be doing braids in this uh, hairstyle. And to start braids, they can be a little, they can vary how they look uh, in the part that I'm drawing right now on the side. But I like to make it a little bit, um, you know, curvy and wavy getting to this point where the braid is starting. And braids usually go from thickest part at the top to the thinnest part at the bottom. And they look difficult, but they're actually pretty simple. And they don't need to be perfect to look like braids and get the point across. So you can draw them in a few different ways. What I usually do is I do these two little kind of teardrop shapes um, and I connect them at the point. And then I go back and add some more lines inside of it to make it look like the hair is pulled into each one. But like I said, there's multiple ways to do braids. This is just one of the ways I like to use. Um, so I bring them to a point and then I add a little bit of a hair tie and a little sprig of hair at the bottom. For this braid style, I wanted it to be um, both of them in front of her and no hair behind. Presumably the all the hair would be coming from the back and the front and the sides and pulled into the braids and then just laying on her shoulders and down in front of her body. But you can do um, single braid behind someone or you can do the single braid that wraps over their shoulder. You can do um, bra two braids behind them. There's many different things you can do with braid styles. You can even just incorporate one braid into a, a normal like long wavy hairstyle or short hairstyle, whatever you want. Um, so again, here on the side, I'm just coming back in and doing the exact same thing I did on the other side. And I'm kind of curving it to, f to kind of be more leftward facing since it's on the other side of her body and it's facing that direction. It doesn't need to be perfect. It doesn't need to exactly match the other braid. But what I do think is important is that each braid has about the same number of uh, little hair bumps, if that makes sense. If it has uh, two different amounts, it might look kind of weird, like one of them has 
five, the other one is eight, you know, uh, that would signify one braid is much larger than the other. So you want to make them a little symmetrical, but they don't need to look exactly identical. But yeah, that's how you draw braids. For my fifth hairstyle, I'm going to be doing a simple ponytail. Again, the bangs for this kind of style can vary. For this one, I'm just doing straight across bangs. And if you notice, when I start drawing bangs, I often start not directly center, but a little bit to the left or right of the center. I don't know why, it's just a habit, and I tend to draw the first strand much longer than the rest and go back and erase it to make it shorter. I, I don't know why, that's just something I've always done. Um, but anyway, um, for a ponytail, again, any updo really, it's important to understand where the face is going to be um, and where the body is going to be if it's important like it is for braids. So the side uh, pieces of strands of hair are optional like I'm drawing here. I like to draw them in, but they're completely optional. You don't have to have uh, strands of hair hanging down from the person's face if you don't want that. For the back of the hair, nothing is uh, hanging down like it is for normal uh, down hairstyles. It's kind of rounded off, and since all her hair is pulled, since all of her hair is pulled back into a ponytail, so you can draw in. Uh, what I normally do is draw in these lines here on the side to show that her hair is all pulled back, and then I just round off the top of her head. Sometimes I give her a part, sometimes I don't. It depends what I'm feeling like or what kind of style I'm doing. Since the bangs were fairly straight across, I didn't really have an area for them to. Um, like a part for them to go to specifically. So in starting the ponytail, I am making a high ponytail in this case. I start off with a piece of hair and I just kind of randomly draw at this point. Like nothing needs to be specifically calculated. Everything can be random because a ponytail, there's no one way to draw a ponytail. Everything, your hair just falls randomly. So here I'm just drawing a bunch of lines inside of it. Um, to make it look a little more interesting and like it's got some more detail. And at the top you can usually add any kind of uh, hair tie or whatever you'd like. In this case, I'm adding a tiny little bow because I think that's cute. Um, but again, that's also an optional step. This is just as an example for you guys. And then I'm just rounding off the bottom with drawing in her body. So that's how I do a ponytail. Again, they vary. You can draw them at any length or any height. Um, so yeah, I hope that was helpful. And let's move on to our last hairstyle. Okay, so if you notice for this hairstyle, you should be able to see a little outline of what the hairstyle is. And that happened because when I was recording this, the first time that I actually drew it, my phone for some reason crashed and didn't save the file so I had to erase and I, I wanted to show you the process of how I drew it. Um, so this one's just a little more of a swoopy short hairstyle but you can use this kind of bangs in long hairstyles too or in any hairstyle. So I wanted to show you how to draw these kinds of bangs. Um, for these kinds of bangs I start usually from one side of the head. In this case I started from her right our left and I make these two little uh, U shapes, like almost like a little W at the top. And um, underneath I draw little lines to show that her hair is coming up from that point and then swooping down. And again, this can be super flowy, random, however you like it to look. Um, so on the other side, I'm going down and I'm drawing, I'm making it look like as if it's kind of curving inward for her hair. And I'm making it asymmetrical. So as you can see, the right side of what I drew here, which would be her left, that's just confusing, um, is a little bit longer and curvier than the other side. So I kind of like hairstyles like this because they're messy but and fun, and they don't have to look completely perfect. So that's just a little bit about how I do this kind of asymmetrical swoopy style. So yeah. So that was my how to draw hair tutorial. I hope that was helpful for you guys. I tried to choose um, a good variety of hairstyles to show you guys how to draw. I didn't want it to be, you know, all one 
type of hairstyle. Um, like I said, bangs can always be different when you're drawing hair. And you can feel free to get creative when you're drawing. Nothing needs to be exactly the way I did it or exactly the way uh, someone else did it. You can get creative and do things in your own style. And so I will make more tutorials and um, I want to make a video on how to find your style and things like that in the future. So um, if, you, if you like this video and you want to see more, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can follow me on Instagram to see more of my artwork. So I enjoyed making this video for you guys and I will see you in my next one. Have a great day and I love you all. Bye bye!